Hello, happy friends. Are you ready to learn? I'm Sarah, and today we're going to play a Q&A game about reptiles. Do you know what the word reptile means? Let's take a look at the three options. That they move with their tummy very close to the ground. That their skin is covered in scales. Or that they have a very long tongue. Exactly! The word reptile means that they walk with their stomach really close to the ground. Easy peasy! Reptiles always crawl when they're moving. That means their tummy is touching or very close to the ground. Like this snake. Or this lizard. Or this crocodile. They also have their bodies covered in strong and resistant scales to protect themselves. And they also have cold blood. Well, now we know what the word reptile means. But do you know how they reproduce? They are oviparous. That means that they are born from the eggs laid by the mother. Or viviparous. That means that they are born directly from the womb. Exactly! They are oviparous! All reptiles are born from the eggs that their mothers have laid. When they develop and come out, they look exactly the same as their parents, but tiny. Here you can see miniature crocodiles. Most of them are carnivores. And some of them have venom in their teeth, like this snake. The truth is, when reptiles are small, they can be so cute. But when they grow older, they can be a little scary, don't you think? Let's go for the last question. Which one of these animals is a reptile? A tortoise or a frog? I knew it! The tortoise! Tortoises are reptiles, although lots of people confuse them with amphibians. As you can see in the images, Tortoises have their body full of scales. They reproduce through eggs. And although lots of them live in water, they breathe through lungs. So is it clear that tortoises are reptiles? Crystal clear? Well, I hope you've answered all of your questions correctly, but if you haven't, don't worry, the most important thing is learning. Goodbye happy friends, see you next time and I hope you're always ready to learn. Goodbye! Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel. Happy friends! Are you ready to learn? I'm Sarah and today we're going to play a Q&A game about some very slimy animals. Today we're going to learn about amphibians! Do you know how adult amphibians breed? Let's see the options. The first one they breathe through their gills. 
the second one, they breathe through their skin and lungs. Or the third one, they only breathe through their lungs. That's surprising. They breathe both through their lungs and skin. Let's learn a little more about these animals' reproduction. The word amphibian means both lives, and it means that although they are considered land animals, their lives commence in waters. This makes their respiratory system change according to their growth. When they are just born, they are tadpoles or larva, and they live in water, so they breathe through gills. When they grow up and become adults, they live mostly on land. Therefore, their respiratory system changes and they breathe through their lungs. Because their lungs are so small, they also get help to breathe through their skin. That's so interesting! Amphibians really believe that breathing is the most important thing, don't you think? They even breathe through their skin! Now I'm going to ask you a very easy question. Do you know what we call the changes amphibians go through from when they leave the egg until they become adults? 1. Modificosis 2. Structural changes or 3. Metamorphosis Exactly! It's metamorphosis. Almost all of you knew it, didn't you? Let's look at what it consists of. Metamorphosis is a process in which the body of amphibians undergoes changes. When they leave the eggs, they are larva or tadpoles, like these. But, little by little, front and hind legs start to appear and their heads and bodies start changing until becoming almost identical to their parents. Amphibians never stop surprising me. They're super interesting animals. Let's go for the last question. Which one of these animals is an amphibian? One, a frog. Two, a lizard. Or three, a tortoise. I knew it, it was the frog, because lizards and tortoises are reptiles. Let's get to know amphibians' characteristics so you don't get them confused with reptiles, which happens sometimes. Amphibians like frogs or toads have naked skin and they always need to have it wet, therefore they live near water. They are cold-blooded and oviparous animals. That means they reproduce through eggs. As a fun fact, you should know that amphibians are classified into two big groups. Amphibians without tails, like frogs and toads, and amphibians with tails, like newts or salamanders. Well, happy friends, I hope you've answered all of these questions correctly. But if you haven't, it's okay, because the most important thing is that you've learnt lots of things about amphibians and, of course, that you've had a lots of fun. Goodbye, happy friends. See you next time, and I hope you're always ready to learn. Goodbye. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.